Okay, now see this. Mute yourself. Okay, tell me in Snowflake, what are the constraints supported? Constraints supported? Not, what null, constraints? not null constraints. Supported, constraints supported. 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 Sup uh -huh. Okay, understand the question. What I'm asking, supported yeah. in the sense like what? What we can able to create? We can create what? Unique constraint, unique. not unique. null, and then primary key, and then foreign. Foreign key. foreign key. Primary key is there, then foreign key is there, then. And then default constraint. So foreign key. Accept the check won't work. Okay, foreign key. Okay, so P and join. Okay, foreign key, not unique constraint, not null, primary key, foreign key, and default constraint. So check constraint won't support. Remaining all the constraints we can able to create, create, okay. Out of this, tell me in Snowflake, which constraint get enforced? Not null. Not null. Not null. Not null. Constraints getting enforced. Enforced. Got the point. Only not null constraint is getting enforced. Okay. So tell me in Snowflake, does unique constraint allows duplicates? Huh? Yes or no? Allows. Yes, it allows. Yes. Yeah, allows. It allows. Yeah. Allows duplicates. These are the questions, okay? So okay, because it's a OLAP system, that's why Snowflake may. So Snowflake doesn't enforce. Allows duplicates. Allows duplicates. Okay. What about what about primary key? Yeah, we can have multiple. Okay, primary key allows duplicates. Okay. Tell me primary key allows null, sir. Yes. Yes, yes. Also, why? No, it is not. That's why, now see, which constant enforces? Only not, not null, no, no. no. So, see, so primary key all, allows duplicates, but not, but not nulls because primary key is a combination of unique plus not null constant. No. Okay, see, not null is getting enforced. Okay, understand the functionality. So, primary key is getting like what divided into unique constant and not null constant and primary key. Okay, so got the point. So, this is the way we can able to make it work. Okay, now. Let me create one table. Okay. So this is what you will, which way you're working? Snow site. Snow site. Snow site. Okay. Snow site. How many ways we can able to log into Snowflake? What are ways? Three ways. Uh, what are things? Snow Classic snow console, snow site, snow SQL. Snow SQL. Snow SQL. Okay. So this is snow site. Remember in paid version, we'll have the classic console will be there. Okay. ID, name, backer, important topic. This is, okay. Now see the same thing. Now what happened if we want to create any database object, what should be there? What should be there? Data and scheme. Database and schema should be there. Okay, see, control enter. Now see it's saying, okay, see, cannot perform create table. This session doesn't have a see composite work. So database should be selected and schema should be selected. Now, now see the same thing. This is important. What is this compute WH? Anybody knows, sir? This is important. Warehouse. You know, Virtual what warehouse. Say so virtual, virtual warehouse. Okay, this is important. I'll try to say this is virtual warehouse. Warehouse. Okay, important. Okay, I'll try to explain the project. Okay, see virtual warehouse. Okay, now see, I'm trying to execute one statement. Okay, see, it's saying already there. Okay, see, once now see what happened. Now I'm trying to create one table. Now see what happened. Now it's in which status? It's in which status? Since suspended status. Okay, so this is important. Now, right now, this warehouse in suspended status. Suspended state. Okay, now let me insert some data. Okay, so insert some data. See, this is important. Insert into my table that is EMPTT. Okay, EMPTT values. I am passing one, Pravin and Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Okay, now see the same thing. Now, now I'm trying to use control enter. Now see what happened. Now see it's changed to what? Active status. Started. It's a started state. Why reason? Anybody can ever tell me what is the reason? DML require the warehouse operations. computing power. Then okay, we see? need a computer resource to okay, execute see? the DML. Okay, so DRL and data loading. Okay, and data unloading requires what? Requires computation power so computation nothing but to process some memory to computation power who require who will who will give this computation power this virtual, virtual warehouse. Yeah, it's a simple thing i'll try to explain one more time now see let me go back here this is my database this is my schema in this table click on this thing 
Okay, I want to load data. Now see, browse. Okay, let me go back. Now see, now this is require what? What is thing? This also is a data loading. It's also like processing. So we are date. We are taking data from file. So see the same thing. One second. Okay. So see, we are taking the file from local machine and loading into Snowflake table. This also require what? Computation power. Remember, if you want to process anything, you should require computation power. Computation power nothing but it's a virtual warehouse, it's a cluster of nodes. Got the point. If you want to process anything, okay, we should require memory, RAM, all these things. Which which one will provide? Which case? The virtual warehouse will be provided. Got the point. So details doesn't require. Suppose like let me suspend the same thing. Suspend. Okay, suspend. Let me create one more table. Okay, I'm putting so create a replace. So this is what create a this is what say what statement? It's a what statement? Create a replace is a table. It's DDL. DDL. Tell me DDL require where also? No. No. Okay, doesn't require anywhere. Okay, how can you confirm the policy? Let me make it enable. Okay, resume. No, I can try to execute the statement. Now see. Now tell me, it's require where also? No. How can you prove? By seeing the query history. Okay, see what happened. See here, three dots are there. Click on three dots. View query profile. Click on this view pro query profile. Now see here, query details. Now see, it's not using any warehouse. Okay, see so in the query profile, in the query details, we can able to understand there is no, okay, if, if, if you have, so policy, let me insert one statement again. Execute a statement. This is important. So our topic depends on this thing. Okay. We query profile. So query details. Now see, it's using what? It's using extra small. Okay. See, compute warehouse. The size is extra small. Okay. Got a point. See here. We are using compute warehouse. The what? The so what? It's a virtual warehouse. And it's what? Size is extra small. Got the point. A little bit getting the point. So if you want to process anything, you know, we should require computation power network. It's a virtual a warehouse got the point and now come to come to snowflake architecture uh, tell me how many layers are there in the snowflake architecture important what are the layers we are having yes, yes. Just layer one thing query processing layer that is nothing but it's a virtual warehouse virtual warehouse you okay, see i'll try to tell in detail so virtual warehouse virtual warehouse virtual warehouse okay now see the same thing now i am trying to insert some data so see i am trying to insert some data the data will be stored where physically where in the which layer data storage layer so storage data layer. storage layer okay let me go back and show you the okay architecture this is important so this is important okay see snowflake actually went to three layers so just now discuss computation power which will be given by virtual these are the nodes machines will be there inside okay see now our data will be physically stored in which layer in the cloud storage layer okay see one more layer is that cloud storage layer cloud storage layer okay now data is stored physically stored in micro partitions those are divided to small small partitions our data will be stored okay this micro partition information who is holding which guy which guy will hold no. Matter data service layer, which is cloud yeah. service. Cloud layer. service. Layer. Okay, see the same thing. This is important. Okay, I'll try to start from fresh. Okay, see, let me remove all this value. Okay, and put here. So this is important. Listen, the so cloning concept depend on this topic only. Okay, okay, let me suspend the warehouse. So we can able to suspend the warehouse. Click on this value. We can. I'm selecting. So this is extra small i'm selecting extra large okay like t-shirt the sizes will be there now what happened i'm trying to it's in which status it's in suspended status okay, okay see suspend okay let me let me create table so create table is nothing but what what say what statement say ddl statement so tell me ddl require warehouse or no need okay see no. emp t id number okay what is create or replace will do create or replace what it will not, do it? it will remove existing table and create a new table. If it's if that if the same name is solid, what happened? Drop the table and it will recreate it one more new time. Object. So ID name worker city worker. Okay, now tell me this statement require warehouse. Huh? Okay, no. How how we can confirm in the 
query profile, list. the warehouse size, we can able to figure out. Right. As soon as in suspend status. Now see, whenever get any table, what happened? Who will come into picture? Which guy? Which guy will come into picture out of three? Which layer? Metadata. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, the cloud service layer. Now what happened here? One layer is that in this metadata, okay, say like, okay, one table has been in created. This information will be captured by this guy. Metadata is nothing but data about data. One more time, what I'm trying to say. So whenever you're creating any table, now what happened? So Snowflake will be capturing this metadata information. Got the point? Huh? So see one more time. I am trying to create one database object. So create one, create one database object. So which, which guy will hold this information? The cloud service layer, okay? The metadata management. So this guy will hold, say like, will, will hold the information like one object has been, the metadata information will be stored here. Now this three layers will come in picture as of now. Second layer, it won't come because we are not processing anything. We are not storing it. So right now, data is stored in this metadata. Now what happened? Let me go back. Let me insert one more record. Insert into EMP TT values one Praveen and Hyderabad. Now what happened? Tell me. Now this is what? This is DML. So DML require what? Computation, computation power. Question. Computation power who, who will get? Query Which process. Guy? Query processing. Okay. Query processing nothing but say virtual error. See, it's saying auto resume. Auto resume enable in the sense like what? When you perform any DML, any DRL, okay, or data loading, it will get automatically enabled. No need to do any. So we are not doing things. Simply, if you run what happened, it's getting automatically enabled. Enabled. So see, auto resume enabled. Now try to perform. Now tell me what will happen background. Anybody can tell no? background. This is important. If I'm trying to execute one insert statement, what will happen in the three layers? That was the question. Anybody can tell no? important. Data will be stored in the store cloud storage layer. Okay, with the help of what? With the help of computer resources. Computer resources. Computer resources. Tell me, does object is there on how can you identify? By using metadata. Ah, okay, see, service. first layer, first which guy will come into picture? Cloud services. So see the cloud service layer will come into picture. So see what happened. First we'll check whether is an auth so you remember. Suppose like I'm executing one statement. First you should first you should check whether is an correct user or not, authorized user or not. And you have the you have suppose like see this object has the permissions to you or not. Okay. Next step is that object is the first it check object is there or not. Second, suppose like see if I put like this, tell it work. Huh? Because it says so because but table is not there, is okay, not okay, okay, okay. Who will check all this thing? In the cloud service layer, it will check in the metadata manager. So first step is that in the cloud service layer, it will check in the metadata layer. If table is there and your authorizer, what happened? Now who will come into picture next guy? Next guy is computer. computer. So it will get automatically enabled with the help of computation power. Data will be stored in micro partition. This information, again, who is holding? Again, which guy is holding? Like number of records? Which is no, metadata, metadata. Got the point. I see one more time. So whenever perform any insert statement or DL, what happened? So first we'll check the metadata, whether this object is there or not. Next step, object is there. Then with the help of virtual warehouse, spinning the virtual warehouse. Now we are processing the data into micro partitions. Now again, what whenever perform anything now, which guy will come into picture? Which guy? Uh, next again. Again. Metadata will come into picture. These informations will be hold like, like there are one record inserted. This information is hold by metadata. So data about data. This all the three layers are dependent on this thing. For the point. So see processing. Okay, storing physically in the micro partition. Again, this information is calling by metadata. If you remember, if you do anything, you know what happened? This metadata will get keep on up like number of records, number of distinct record, minimum value, maximum value in the particular part, micro partition, how many records, those information will be captured by metadata layer. Clear so far, this is Snowflake architecture. It contains three layers, cloud service layer, computation layer, and cloud storage layer. Okay, got the point. So this is metadata management, cloud services like, like cluster of nodes, and our data will be stored in micro parts in the cloud storage layer. Obviously, this is the way the Snowflake architecture depends. Clear so far?